this session, we're going to look at how to reverse interest. So we've already explained how to process your interest. We're now going to look at the reversal option. So you select, I would like to reverse interest. Or the option, see a list of interest process. So we can say next. Now this will be the transactions that was processed. If you've processed interest over a few months, all those transactions will be there. You can now manipulate the reversal date. If there was a transaction that had a currency with it, then you can manipulate the spot rate. In my case, I want to say that I've made a mistake with this person here at the bottom. So I now select the transaction that I would like to reverse. Remember, you can also manipulate this information with filters. You can change the visible fields. You can select all. Or, if you do select all, you have to type in a little code. Or you can deselect. You can just specify a few transactions or only one. That is your choice. You've got report options where you can print or preview or even design that preview. And once you've made your selection, you can click on the reverse option. It's going to say, are you sure? We're going to say yes. And it will then give you a report to show you the transactions or transaction that was reversed. If we close this and I close the debtors interest charge module and take you to debtors inquiries, you go to that specific data, you will see the interest charge and the reversal. And that concludes looking at the reversal option for debtors interest charging.